What's up guys, Woody LS3 coming at you with another vlog. Today we're actually going to be going over to my buddies over there at KHP. Miguel, we're gonna go check them out because we actually need to get a white pipe for my extended cab truck. So for y'all that do remember, I did went ahead and put the CFM headers from KHP on this truck. So there you go guys, these are the CFM headers. You see it right there. Now we didn't do the white pipe because they didn't have the white pipe available at the time. But now some time has passed and he actually has some in stock. But yeah, pretty much this truck is a 6.0, just headers and an intake. That's pretty much it on this truck. But like I said, we're going to get the white pipe just because the ones that I have, it's just pieces. You can kind of smell it. So I don't want that. I like to have all my trucks running good and obviously be in the right way. I don't want to be inside smelling any fumes. Uh, I don't have that with my turbo truck and I definitely don't want to have it with this truck, you know, that it doesn't have as much stuff as uh, my turbo truck does. So we're going to go ahead and head over to KHP, pick up that white pipe and see what else they got. So let's go. Alright guys, we had to pull over and get some E85. This truck guys, if it has below half a tank, it'll start acting up when you hit it. So I always try to keep it full, just because I got the two 450 fuel pumps in it and it does suck up a lot of gas. So I don't ever want it to run out of gas. That's why I always keep it, try to keep it full. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and pump some quick E85 and then we'll head on our way. I was hoping I was at the right spot, bro. I'm like, damn. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of hidden, bro. I'm working on the sign stuff. Yeah, damn. So what? Is this a new spot or what? Yeah, yeah. It's a New Jersey village location. Man, I like this one a lot better. It's a lot closer. Yeah, yeah. I figured, bro. It's a lot closer to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Hell yeah, this is a lot better. Hey, sure, things sounds sure. mean, bro. Yeah, no, it's a four inch downpipe all the way down. Yeah. So. Yeah, it sounds, yeah. It, sounds, it sounds real good, bro. Nah, I'm gonna turn it down, though. I gotta put a muffler with yeah? it. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do a cutout, though. Oh, that okay. way when it detects boost, it, it lets it out. Yeah, okay, so, okay, hell yeah. That's so I don't have any restrictions with that, but... Yeah, oh, you haven't seen it with the turbo nah, or anything, I huh? Nah, I haven't. Nah, I saw it before the turbo setup. Yeah, we, we did the cam, remember? Yeah, yeah we, I got the cam from you. Yeah. That uh, Ch Chapacara cam. Yeah. Yeah, we got the cam from KHP, and uh, Miguel actually spec that cam out for this one, he, uh, because I didn't have to do any springs, right? Yeah. So that's why we put that one on. Obviously, we couldn't do that one with the turbo, so we ended up doing a uh, BTR stage two turbo cam. Okay. Yeah, cool. so that's what it has right now. 
So yeah. yeah. Good, you wanna check it out or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Pop the hood, bro. Yeah, I wanted to clean it up, you know what I mean? I didn't want like all half ass, you know, work and stuff like that. But it's good. Yeah, I appreciate it, it's man. It's real good. He's our, he's our camera guy. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he does all, her, all our uh, videos and reels and all that stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. It's a lot different. Awesome. I mean, it's just a it's just a turbo on a, a 4.8. So, shit. Yeah. but I like it. Uh, Chris actually got got down on the yeah okay the okay yeah, yeah yeah Chris Chris yeah yeah, yeah Chris yeah. got down on the tuning, and put everything together. And yeah, no, he's really good, bro. He's yeah, good, he's really good. good really smart. So he said, Miguel, you approve or what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> You knocked it out for sure, bro. It Appreciate it, good. man. It's a good setup. Yeah, no, I went ahead and and because originally I was gonna do the downpipe, por aquí, and then out to the front. But okay. uh, then at the last minute I changed it, but I had already relocated the battery. Oh. Okay. So that's why I relocated the battery. But if not, I would have left it there. Yeah. But I mean, it's still, it's a mira más amplio. It yeah, looks, yeah. Good. It looks way better like mm -hmm. that. But yeah, so you got those uh, white pipe, right? Yeah. For the, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got to get for my other truck. What uh, what design did you have? The ones that were at an angle, or the ones that go down like the? I think the ones that are at an angle. An angle? Okay. Yeah. Cause I got the first ones. Okay. You remember? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause I got them before y'all even did the white pipe. Y'all, I think y'all had sent it out. Yeah. On this right now, we're doing a, a fully built trans. It's from Warden, Texas. Warden? Yeah, a fully built trans and a trans cooler with the Circle D converter. I get the trans back built tomorrow and we're now working on the on the true cool. Damn, a little yeah. extended cab, man. Damn, it's yeah, like mine. The, the blue one out there, I just finished the converter swap with the true cool as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to do mine the, on the extended cab, the true cool, because I did the true cool on this one, but I did the A in fittings, the, oh, the okay. A in lines. Right and lines yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I want to do to mine. Yeah, I just did that on, on my white truck as well. Uh, the braided lines. Oh, yeah, there you go, guys. CFM in stock. And uh, yeah, so you have them at both, all three stores or what? All three stores, yeah. Yeah, mm. we, carry, we carry them at all three stores. And y'all branching out quick, huh? Yeah, bro, <laughs> yeah. We're trying to see see how starting off the new year goes. Yeah. We're going to end it good and then we want to start it stronger. Yeah, that's yeah, so we're slowly getting up on our inventory and stuff. And as of now, I'm the only one here. Oh, okay. Uh, just doing like simple installs, like stuff like this. But eventually, I'm pretty sure we're going to outgrow it quick. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. It's, it's nice though, dude. It's a nice little, yeah, it's little not, shot, it's man. Not too bad. Yeah, I mean, just to get started, I'm sure later on y'all be knocking down this wall or That's, something. Uh, it's available right now. I was talking to Kika about that. I was like, man, we should probably talk about it. See if we can probably get a better deal for both bays or something. Yeah, that'd be better. Hell yeah. It's nice. Did you get lost getting in here? Well, yeah, no. I was like, man, I'm, I'm going to try to look up for like some modded trucks and like hopefully that's the spot, but it wasn't too bad, but yeah, it was good. Yeah, I have the, the signs. I, I have the banner in the, right there uh, that's going to go up here. And then the acrylic sign is gonna go at the entrance. There, I have the appointment for tomorrow. Okay. They're gonna come and install it. So oh, yeah, it'll yeah. be more easier to find me now. So if anybody wants, is in the north side area like me, and this is better, what's the address? Uh, 10910 Jones Road, Unit 9, Houston, Texas, 77065. Okay, and then the phone number? The phone number is 832-252-7023. Uh, hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. So there you go, guys. If y'all are in the north side area, and Pasadena location is way too far. Now y'all can come to this location, which honestly, it's a lot better for me. I got here pretty quick and uh, yeah, the traffic wasn't too bad. Hopefully it's the same on the way back. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, yeah. hey, it's a street truck, eh? It yeah. didn't overheat. Nah, that's good, bro. Yeah, that's, <laughs> the, that's the point. Yeah, yeah, no, it has AC and heater. I keep telling you about it, it has AC and heater because I mean, to me, that's a flex, you yeah. know? Uh, yeah, because not, not a lot of trucks have the AC system because they, you know, uh, uh, the pipes and all that, but that's cool. They yeah, yeah, yeah. You can drive around. Yeah, yeah, stop. So there we go, guys. We got the... You, let's open it up. That way the people yeah. can see what, what it is that I'm getting. And those stainless steel, right? Like, yeah. Just like the headers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the way around. Oh, so here's the connector. The connector is yeah, the V band. Yeah, the V band. Yeah, that's super easy then. Because there's some that the whole thing's... Like, slip on it. Yeah. yeah sometimes you struggle when you try to hit like to put them in you got to be hitting them and hitting them yeah these it's it's pretty simple bro so this would be the passenger side okay oh and it has a, the bellow huh the flex yeah, yeah it has a it has the flex that way for easy easy installment and if you ever got to drop the trans you don't have to be cutting exhaust. Man, yeah. That's, this is why I wanted this kit, guys, just because I don't want to be dealing with cutting the white pipe, which a lot of people do that. I don't want to do that. 
because obviously I want to spend money one time and that's it. So that's why I'm going ahead and making this purchase right here, getting this white pipe. So uh, do these fit only CFM headers or? Yes, they're designed for only our CFM engineering brand. I have okay. this design, which is the one you have, the ones that set at an angle. And then I have the competitive series. Uh, the, the ones you have fit anywhere from 99 to 2013. Mm -hmm. I have both sizes, one and three quarters and 178. And then the competitor series is only designed for the 9906s. And I have the bolts on white pipe ready to design. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So there you go, guys. Make sure that you get your CFM headers. That way you can get this white pipe. And like I said, you don't have to deal with cutting your white pipe whenever you got to move your transmission or anything like that. So I think this is very convenient, especially this V-Bend right here definitely helps out a lot. And then this bellow, uh, which I think that's what it's called, but if not, it's a flex connector. Yeah. So this is what, a three inch? Yeah, all right. it's all three inch. It's all three inch, And then inch, it comes huh? with the extra bungs, either for your rear or twos if you don't want to eliminate them, uh -huh. uh, or for like a wide band sensor. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to plug those because I don't have those. Yeah, yeah. so like if you're ever ready to add a wide band to your extended cab, yeah, you, you already can have use it. one of those. Yeah. Oh, okay, dang, that's badass. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead, pick this up. We're gonna take it back to the house, and uh, I don't know if we'll put it on today. We'll see. I gotta move a lot of stuff around, but uh, yeah, we might get to it, and then we might change the muffler on that truck, because I think I have a Borla SFX, something like that. I don't know, it's pretty Pro quiet. SS, I don't know which one. Pro SX? Yeah, yeah, it's probably that one. Yeah, it's kind of quiet. Yeah, it is yeah. quiet. It is yeah, quiet. that one. So that truck's gonna be camming later, and I actually wanna hear it. This one's gonna be a little more quiet, hopefully. But uh, yeah, I don't want it this loud either. So we'll see what happens. We'll do some research. Uh, what, what exhaust do you recommend? Uh, my, one of my favorite mufflers that I've liked so far is the Borla Attack. Borla Attack? Yeah. That's I what I had I, on I the I like trip. that it sounds really crisp. It's yeah, yeah, really yeah I know it does sound good. Yeah. With a cam, mm -hmm. it sounds better, I bet, yeah. huh? Yeah, 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 for okay. sure. Okay, damn. You don't have a truck out here with a cam right now? I don't, I didn't bring mine today. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm in my daily, but I was, if I would have had, I would have let y'all hear. That yeah. one's open headers though. Open so headers? It's, oh, it's, damn. It's <laughs> yeah, it's really rowdy. Yeah, that one's, that one's, oh, so you're used to that, huh? You're used to stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm really, I guess because I'm a little older, but yeah, guys, I don't, I don't, I'm done with the whole being loud. I like to just, I obviously miss my driving my truck, so that's why I took it out, but we're gonna go ahead and take this uh, white pipe and uh, go ahead and try to see if we can install it on the extended cam. So, let's go. Miguel, I appreciate it bro, yep. hooking it up. Anything and, uh, you need, we're here. So like I said guys, make sure y'all stop by if y'all from the north side area or the northwest. Make sure y'all stop by the new location. And uh, yeah, just pick up what you need. Like I said, they just been here, what, two weeks now? Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks, so they're just, you know, they're getting all the inventory in here and everything like that. And he does work out of here, right? Yeah, we offer, we sell performance parts. Uh, we offer install on majority of all the parts here. Uh, we offer computer programming and tuning as well. Okay. Uh, what about any specials right now you got going on or like? At know? the moment, no, but if, if they happen to say that you sent them here, I'll give them a discount. Oh, really? There you go, guys. So make sure you let them know that, that I sent you here. And uh, yeah, they'll, they'll definitely work with you on cam installs. Uh, y'all do e-fans and stuff like that. Everything. So make sure y'all ch check them out. If y'all need superchargers, turbos, anything like that, they got everything. It's pretty much a one-stop shop, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, on the power adders, I probably need to order them. <laughs> as far as everything else, I have it here. Damn, I'm over here saying some other stuff, though. <laughs> nah, well, there you go. He, they can get them, but, you know, you got a little wait time. But uh, it's like with anything else, so. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, have, vemos. Bro. have a good one, man. Have a nice seeing you, bro. Yeah, like you too. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and go back home. And uh, hopefully we have enough time to put this on. Uh, like I said, it's a nice piece and everything like that. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully we have enough time to put this on, so let's go. All right guys, so let's go ahead and head back home. Hopefully we don't catch too much traffic on the way back. And uh, yeah, we can get out of here pretty easy. Damn, it's pretty steep. Hopefully I don't hit my cow tracks. Ooh, there's already traffic coming out of here, guys.
All right, guys, as you can see, we made it back home from KHP. But yeah, guys, let me show y'all real quick this uh, Y pipe. It's pretty much just exactly like the headers. Uh, very good design, very good quality stainless. Uh, this is the V-band. Uh, connects this piece to the to the other piece which is right here very good quality and this is for three inch pipes so if y'all are looking for a complete set as far as headers and the white pipe that you can connect to definitely give my boy Miguel a call at KHP you know let him know I sent you I already have the CFM headers on my extended cap truck now I have the white pipe like I said the reason I changed it is because of the white pipe that I have was nothing but little pieces and I'm starting to smell fumes I'm sure they're getting loose and there's a bunch of clamps guys so I don't want to deal with the clamps anymore now I'm only gonna deal with two clamps and the v-band so I mean that's pretty good right there so that's why I went ahead and bought the white pipe I won't have that issue anymore so we're not gonna put it on the truck right now guys just because I might have to uh, pinch down the three inch pipe that I already have on my extended cap so we're actually gonna take that to the muffler shop and uh, go ahead and take off the old white pipe install the new white pipe and then Go ahead and run our our three inch pipe out to the back yeah let me know guys uh, i might i might want to change the exhaust like i was saying in that truck that truck is going to have a cam on it i am going to install the cam on that truck so i wanted to right now it's really quiet which is good but obviously when you do all the work to to install a cam you obviously want to hear it so i'm probably going to go with a little mild setup nothing too crazy but nothing you know so quiet so comment down below guys let me know what exhaust y'all think would be perfect for that truck so yeah let comment down below help me out guys let me know what y'all think i should get so with that being said guys thank y'all so much for watching this video and thank you so much for the awesome feedback on the past video everyone was super supportive yeah we are definitely gonna have to find my wife something so we're gonna have to build her something uh like i said i'm gonna try to find her a trans am or a camaro ss possibly the fourth gen uh she really likes those i will be trying to get a car back on the vlog and we will be building it for my wife that way when i take this out she will take her car out and we can go to meets together and cruise around and everything like that i think it'll be awesome you know to have my wife along with me in her own car so yeah we're gonna build that thing together hopefully we can find a good one i know they are a little older and everything like that hopefully we can find a good one we will be fixing it up either way but yeah guys make sure you like subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one peace